What's going on everybody? Opie and the Smokies here and we're at the range today with some awesome weather to review the 43X and the 48. Glock's two newest pistols that they just came out with. The 43X and the 48 are their new slimline design pistols with basically a one and a half stack magazine that gives you a carrying capacity of 10 rounds in a mag. So one thing we noticed right off the bat is the new 10 round magazines are propri proprietary to the 48 and the 43X themselves. So your 43 mag will not work in a 43X or a 48, nor will your 43X, 48 mag work in a regular 43. So something that we wanted to point out right off the bat that we noticed, um, but right away you get an extra four rounds in your standard mag with the 43X and the 48. So definite big improvement on capacity. Uh, my biggest improvement that they have done between the 43 and the 43X is the grip itself. So if we go back to the 43 here, if you guys can tell, my pinky has no place to go on the 43X. I'm sorry, the 43. But if we switch over to the 43X, they have solved all those problems and provided the perfect placement for my big hands. Uh, same with the 48. My hand wraps perfectly around that grip. And even when I'm doing both hands on the grip, I can hang on solidly with my support hand. Another issue I had with the 43, I like shooting the gun. Definitely don't like shooting it as much as my other guns or my other Glocks, but you know, the 43 I never felt like was more than a 20 yard gun anyway. So this I feel like I can actually reach out and touch somebody maybe with 50 yard shot because I can actually get a full solid grip on this whole frame. Um, other than the frame itself, you know, you have all the Gen 5 features besides the Ambi slide stop. So you have the two pin system in the trigger again, just like the older generations. You had the finger grooves removed out of the frame, the flared magwell, and the front serrations on the slide. Now the front serrations on the 48 have five, while the 43 have four. Uh, and that's another difference we notice. but other than that, the length of the slide is really your only difference between the 43X and your 48. Both carry the same amount of rounds, both have the exact same frame, and your 48 is kind of like a, I would compare a 17 to a, a 19 to a 26, you know, in your slide length as far as your improvement goes between those two. Um, the 43X frame will actually fit on the 48 and vice versa, so if you buy the Glock 48, you can technically go buy a 43X slide and now you have both of the new Glocks out. So really, really cool system I think that they have come out with. Um, a big improvement for the 43. Like I said, the 43 is probably my least favorite gun I own. I still own it, I still love it. But with my big hands trying to get a grip purchase on that gun, it's just not the best for me. So they have fixed all that grip problem with the 48 and the 43X. So we're gonna run a couple hundred rounds through both of these guns and come back and give you an honest review on what we feel they can improve on, what they did right, and give you an overall score on the end of both of these guns. So let's get some rounds down range and we'll come back here in just a few minutes. And talk I feel about good! It.
four, uh, I'm still doing a little bit of that low and left thing. So let me see if I can kind of fix that out. testing out these two new Glocks, the 43X and the Glock 48. Put a lot of rounds down range and also spent quite a bit of time carrying both of them. There are significant things I would like to point out about this gun that I liked and then quite a few things that I disliked about both of these. As well as do a big comparison with what else is on the market in my opinion that you can get a bigger bang for your buck. But let's start off with the 43X. The 43X feels really good in your hand as well as the 48 because of the same exact grip. Um, these are both, I think we mentioned earlier, interchangeable slides on these grips. So technically if you bought a 43X, you could just buy the 48 slide and then you have both of the new clock pistols. But the 43X is basically the bigger brother of the original Glock 43. It carries 10 rounds instead of six and it also is a tad bit longer than the original 43. Uh, the 43, in my opinion, is my least favorite gun. It is a very snappy shooting pistol with a very minimal amount of real estate to hang on to. The 43X, the only thing I feel like is better is the grip on the gun itself. Uh, you actually have those four extra rounds in the grip along with the Gen 5 features. Um, the slimness of the grip does help quite a bit, I will give them that, but I'm just still not a slim line pistol guy every two to three shots I would find myself readjusting the grip. Uh, that's the one thing I dislike the most about the 43. I do love the way that it's a very minimalistic type of carry gun, but it's just one of those things that if I had to make a 30 yard shot and I had a bigger pistol next to me, I'm gonna take the time to grab that bigger pistol. Uh, I do not think that the 43X is much better in that aspect. I had a really hard time doing follow-up shots because of the continuous readjustment with my grip. Uh, it is a great feeling gun in the hands, don't get me wrong, but when you get into the range and start shooting the gun itself, uh, if you're a bigger hand person like me, it is just very hard to get your hand to hang on to it. So I feel like you're doing a lot of your shooting with your main hand and you're just kind of hanging on for dear life with this one, even though it's not gonna hang on very much at all. So the 43X was the least favorite of the two for me. Uh, moving on to the 48, it is a great shooting gun. Uh, actually really enjoyed shooting this one, and I feel like it is a baby 19. Uh, almost the same exact length as a 19. Actually, it is the same exact length, and the grip is almost exactly the same. It is just a one and a half instead of a double stack. So you've got 10 in this and 15 in your Glock 19. So the slim line, I can understand, you know, giving it for a smaller grip or a smaller you know, type of grip person, but if I had the choice between the 48 and the 19, I'm still going with my 19 every day. Although that this was a very good shooting gun. Um, the 48 seemed very well balanced, and me and my camera guy also noticed that it's a lot easier to pick up your sights on the 48 than it was the 43X. Uh, you know, just one of those things, it's a lot of personal preference that we're throwing out here, but you know, it's just the things that we notice when we get a little bit of time behind these guns. Um, especially right off the bat, up trying to uplift the hype, you know, when I first saw these two guns, I was not a big fan at all. Uh, I've been telling you guys what I really want to see for Glock, so for them to come out with this, it was a little bit of a disappointment for me, but you know, don't knock it till you try it type of deal. I went out and shot them both and found myself that if I had a 48 in my possession, I probably would not be disappointed. Uh, I've been carrying this one the majority of the time, and I think with the right holster, it is a great carrying gun. So I've been carrying the 1221 holsters that they gave to us for this review, 
and it's been holding up phenomenally well. So I carry appendix style and I've even tried carrying a little bit at the four o'clock and it's been really comfortable. Um, another thing I noticed with these two guns is the rounds that we eject when we come home and start doing our live fire practice or whatever uh, is having a very bad issue ejecting that round. So I'm gonna see if it'll do it for us on camera here, but when dummy round, of course, putting it into the gun, chambered up, all right, press check, and then when you go to eject the round, it just kind of hangs out in the gun. That one didn't even pull the round out. It has been doing this a lot, and it's been doing it in the 43X as well. So something we wanted to note, something you guys need to be aware of, I don't know if it's just R2 guns in particular, but make sure that you are watching that round and making sure that your gun is clear before you pull that trigger. Um, so just something, again, we wanted to note to you guys as well as point out how maybe not the best batch of Cerakote has been put on these two Glocks. Um, we've noticed a lot of wear and tear already in just the few hundred rounds we've done with these two guns and put in and out of the holster. So we're seeing some wear on the slides already and we're seeing a lot of wear on the front of the gun um, on the 48 from it coming in and out of the holster. So again, it could just be a issue uh, pertaining to just our two guns that we got in this batch, but it's something also that we think we should know. You've also noticed as well, these slides and these frames will fit on all the original Glock 43 parts. We did not shoot it like that because this is not our gun, but I'm pretty sure that a regular 43 frame will work with your Glock 48, as well as a regular 43 slide work with your Glock 48 frame, or vice versa, the 43X. Now, why I know people are asking, why would you like to have uh, six rounds instead of 10 rounds? Um, you know, it's not necessarily that, as opposed to, you know, maybe somebody's already had work done on their 43 that they would rather prefer to carry that gun still, something that they're already used to. Um, if I throw my bag extension in here, I can have nine rounds, you know, eight plus one. So I'm really not losing uh, that much more if I have my 43 frame. If somebody could find a really good deal on a 43X slide and a 48 slide, you could have both of them with your 43 frame. So, you know, maybe for the price of one gun, now you have all three of them. So, just something to consider when you're looking at these two new Glocks. Uh, again, if you are looking for something that has the smallest footprint, the Glock 43X is not going to be that gun. That gun right now in front of me, to me, would be your Glock 365. Uh, it is the best bang for your buck when it comes to mag capacity and a small footprint. You have a 12 round magazine with the pinky extension here on a smaller frame, smaller slide gun. Um, still smaller than your 43X. If capacity is not a deal and you like the length of slide, your Glock 48 is definitely your longer version. Uh, but it is the same exact length as your Glock 19. So again, if you get a Glock 19, you can have five more rounds standard than you would in the Glock 48. Another crazy thing is the M&P 2.0. Uh, the M&P 2.0 is slightly longer in the slide than the 48, and it is slightly bigger in the frame, just by a hair. Uh, of course, it's a little bit wider, but it also carries uh, a standard 15, or it even comes with a 17 round uh, mag extension. So not much more of a footprint, and you get a few more rounds with these uh, different options. So something to consider if you're wanting to go for your best bang as far as how many rounds you can carry in the amount of package you're getting with the gun. I think this is mostly aimed at your person, customer, clientele who prefer the slim line feel of their guns. It is a different type of feeling even compared to the regular 43. I would love to continue shooting these guns more. Um, if I had to choose between the two, I'm definitely choosing the 48 all day long. I love the way that this one felt as far as shooting it goes. I am not the biggest fan of carrying it. I am a big capacity guy. So for me, having the 19 and only having to deal with a little bit more thickness, that's worth it for me than going with the Glock 48. 
but again, I, if I was handed one, I would not turn it down. Uh, I would probably would not turn down the 43X either, but I would probably never shoot the 43X. It was not a very fun gun for me to shoot, guys. Uh, I love Glocks and it kills me to say that, that I don't like, you know, a Glock. We did like the shooting the 45, but also that was a gun that I felt like was not something I had to have at the moment. Uh, these follow that same line where I don't really think I need to be looking into these two over what I already invest my money in as far as like a Glock 19 or even the Glock 19X we're going to have out of play way here soon. So just consider that when you're out there buying guys. There's a lot of different options that I think provide a little bit better benefits here. Uh, still great guns if you're just wanting to be the Glock connoisseur and have every Glock you can. Um, then this is, you know, a good addition to the collection there. But it's not something I need to run out and get. I would probably wait for a really good sales deal before I ever go pick one up. And after all that, guys, we would like to give these two new Glocks a score of a six on the 43X out of 10 and a seven and a half on the Glock 48. They are just not the two Glocks that are aimed directly at opening the Smokies. They are two great guns, and I believe they will sell a whole lot of these two guns, and there is nothing wrong with them as far as performance goes, other than the little nitpicky stuff we picked out. But in my personal point of view, there are some better options out there for the same amount of money, if not a little bit less, or just a little bit more that give you a greater benefit of capacity and a you know, longer length, better grip, all that kind of stuff. I shot well with the 48, did not shoot well with the 43X, but did not shoot well with either one of them compared to the way I do with the thicker grip on like a Glock 19. So I think maybe it's just an adjustment thing for me. I'm probably over tightening my grip and then doing a lot of the, you know, extra power when as far as where my trigger press is going. Also, thank you to 1221 Designs, Hank and Mike. Thank you for donating the holster so quickly for us to go out there and actually put some uh, concealed carry draws and everything like that, actually carry this gun and get some really good uh, feedback on these things really quickly. So again, thank you to them. And thank you to our sponsors, T3 Concepts, no off days, Kane Arms, JX Tactical, and Prey Use Community. You guys are awesome, and thank you for supporting us in everything that we do. Again, guys, thank you again for tuning in. We love you all. Stay alert, stay alive, and we'll catch you all soon. Product from Glock. Uh, I have my own personal preferences, so I tend to be a little bit pickier than other people. Uh, but I would... <laughs> <laughs> That was really good too, and he ruined it. <laughs> They're great if you. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you put him upstairs? <laughs>